Prior to the 1900s, automotive brake systems were as crude as the vehicles they were designed to stop. That all changed in 1903, however, with the invention of the internally expanding drum brake. And while today's drum brake systems are much more sophisticated than they once were, the basic design concept remains the same. As you might expect, the centerpiece of a drum brake system is the brake drum. The cast iron drum rotates along with the wheel and is brought to a stop by a pair of internally expanding brake shoes mounted underneath. The brake shoes, also called linings, are actuated hydraulically by the wheel cylinder and are returned to their rest positions by heavy-duty springs. A self-adjusting mechanism automatically maintains the proper clearance between the linings and drum. In addition to normal lining wear, drum brakes should be inspected for wheel cylinder leakage, weak springs, out-of-round or worn drums, and inoperative self-adjusters.